Hey, this is Donald Glover. Dan Harmon. Andy Barbro. Anthony Russo. And this is the commentary on this episode um, entitled... What is it? <laughs> what is it called? We just call it Space Bus. Fundamental. Space Bus. Okay. Yeah, Space Bus. What's it called? Fundamentals of Flight oh, or Basic Rocket Science. Basic Rocket Science. Yeah. I, I live down the street. I live down the street from that guy. Which one? The one, the, the one who runs in and is like, City College has a space program. <laughs> That guy worked down the street from me at this really nice restaurant, and I used to go there for lunch. And he was like, "Hey," and he was like, "Hey," uh, and I was like, "Oh, hey," but only as like the guy I know from the thing. So he's like, "Eh," <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And then I realized, like, "Oh yeah, he's the guy from from school." It was really cool. Everybody, everybody in LA works as something else. <laughs> and that's my friend Brady Novak right there on the right from uh, Channel One Hundred One. Oh, the, the, the largest of the suit clad men. Dude. And believe it or not, I know the other guy at the table wow. as well from before. He's a friend of my wife's. I don't know anyone Tony. in the show. <laughs> so it really is a smoke filled room of, of conspirators. Yeah. There's <laughs> nothing is what it seems. <laughs> Did they. So, was the, was the, we've always seen the bus as dirty as a, as a cast member. Was it clean and then they took those pictures with the white family? Yeah. When they, when they built it. Yeah. When they first constructed wow. it, they're, 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 they're a family of human beings, Donald. I, I just, they're so happy. I've never seen like anyone that happy. I love this. Mm. Joke. This was a, it was tough for Chevy. Didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't quite get this. Yeah. I, I, the, the, the take you saw. I mean, he did get it. He nailed it. But uh, like, I remember being there for the shooting of that, and it was like. He had he wanted to do it was like he was like if you want to do if you want if you want to do a funny walk like like you, yeah, this I mean, is how you walk funny and then it was like doing these like funny yeah. walks and uh, and and me and Joel like it was a good like five minutes of like, explaining that joke and then he and then he like looked at him he was like that's just not funny like, he's just, like that's not funny one of the, the things that I like about this episode is it opens with like a five minute monologue from Jim Rash. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> this is like yeah, this is Jim Rash's season of, of emergence, uh, and this is definitely the first episode where he's like, "It's a new day in Baltimore for Jim Rash." <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm very surprised that we got away with that. I remember when I'm seeing it, I was like, "What are they gonna do? Is gonna blur it?" It is pretty gross because it's like it says anus yeah. under it, and then under it, and it's just uh, it's just a big brown eye looking yeah. at it. I remember Brit when we, uh, when we uh, that idea came up in the room and Dan wasn't there, and then uh, it, we, we sort of when we when we told it to him, I think you, I remember you sort of walked away from it for a little bit, and then you came back and you were like. No, I think when God hands you an anus flag, you have to run with it. <laughs> it's true. That's actually, I was translating that from the Latin. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, they, I, would, I, I, love the, uh, I love the fact that the dean... Um, he's a man of his word. Yeah, that the dean has a contest, finds out after the... Yeah, he's like, now this is our new flag. I, I love that about the <laughs> I love that too. This, yeah. the, it's a story about patriotism. We decided we were, we were trying to think of what what are the themes of a of a good space uh, survival movie, and so it, it it is about Greendale as if as if Greendale is America, and sometimes it's bad here, and some you know and, it's uh, uh, you have to be proud of what you have, right. which I like, and he definitely is <laughs> is that, and Annie Annie comes to that conclusion at the Annie. end. Yeah, she yeah. starts off love it or leave it, mm-hmm. and she grows. And I think our, our our little error was, but it was for a good reason, is we knew, okay, we're doing a conceptual episode. It's got this sci-fi angle to it. Now more than ever, we need what we got from the Jeff Britta hookup in the paintball episode. We need that grounded character element. Otherwise, this thing is just going to be flying off into Family Guy space. Um, so we, f- but but we, I think it feels forced, the Annie... Um, uh, Annie as potential transfer student uh, arc. Uh, we didn't. We didn't mean for it to feel forced. We had justified it in our heads. It's earlier in the season. Maybe over the summer, she's been thinking about switching out. You need a good mm-hmm. plot twist. Someone aboard the ship's a Russian right. spy, kind of thing. But yeah, I, that people. I think that was probably the most negative thing critics said about the episode was that that felt a little sweaty. Mm-hmm. Trying to pretend all of a sudden that Annie would leave Greendale. Mm-hmm. 
it's a good example of viewers knowing things about the characters because of their relationship with the actors that the writers, you know, that's like we can't change that about them. Right. But you know what's funny is like awesome. when now that you have a little more distance from the episode, I feel like that storyline isn't as questionable mm -hmm. as when you look at it in the context of like a a, a tight season arc. Or, yeah. Well, the know. episode itself, I've 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 said I think. If, if we literally just picked it up and slid it to later in the season, yeah. this thing would have like would have been huger than it was because it's just it, it's like you're, we're warming up yeah, fourth yeah, episode in the season. Fourth and episode. It feel it could have been like the twelfth and because uh, it's so it is it is fantastic. I think it got short shrift critically because uh, it was just like also yeah. it felt felt probably a little sweaty because Allison had tweeted that whole day. I, I, I dare anyone to make my character leave the show. <laughs> I dare any like my I dare it. That so, was yeah. very bold of me. Yeah, it was very it was strange, but yeah. I remember her doing it yeah. hour after hour. <laughs> so this this is the reason why I Hashtag fuck with fought me. against the studio when they wanted to cut the scene from the drug play episode where, where Pierce is watching his father. It's, you know, we wanted to weave this thing throughout the season and Pierce's these Pierce's dad is this sort of Colonel Sanders type <laughs> tycoon who invented moist towelettes um and so this is the first indication of that and then when you finally yeah, see him it's kind of terrifying oh yeah this is a oh. in the script i remember reading this and laughing very hard <laughs> very subtle very fun yeah i don't know if i should mention i'm allowed to mention this but you know nbc does um research and, um, on how the season plays and they shared the results with us recently and that this and um, this episode and um, Dungeons and Dragons were supposedly the most popular episodes of the season mm -hmm. according to their research but I don't know how it was done or mm -hmm. yeah it's weird they just asked me that was their research <laughs> <laughs> the research you get it's like yeah it's it's very I mean I I, I don't I like reading it because you can you can get inspiration from a fire hydrant uh, uh, but at the same time it's like it is it is like opposite of scientific you have no idea how they conduct that stuff and right you get these paragraphs that were clearly written by the network. <laughs> like, yeah, with 20 people in Chicago say you should be more accessible and grounded and put a Colgate. Uh, just like, put a Colgate. Just like we've been telling you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, really, they, they, these people use the same language. People love Colgate. I don't know why. They just do. They like the sound, the feel of it. Chicago firemen, are they're obsessed with mainstream accessibility. <laughs> yeah, it's a sticker. I got my whole Twitter feed was it's a sticker that, uh, <laughs> that was it it was hundreds and hundreds that's what I love about Twitter is that 140 character limit all you can really do as a fan is is basically is just quote, do the, quote the thing so that you, you, you like it's like you get these you don't get negative feedback that could mess up your your, uh -huh. your your flow you get positive feedback really and just going like yeah that joke that joke like, like yeah. th those jokes are big somebody on Twitter said something uh, that I thought was pretty true. It was just like, history is when uh, a hashtag isn't needed. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you'll get, like, trending stuff of just, like, a line or something like that. Yeah. Like, Tiger Blood trended before yeah. Sheen. <laughs> the window isn't sealed shut. It slides open when you complete the simulation. Well, can you talk them through it? Hey, Abed. We spent a lot of time figuring out what is the, like, what's the most concise sort of way to get to the adventure part uh, you know to, to spell out the mission and uh, I think we did it as quickly as we could but here we are you what, eight minutes in you've got to you've got to do the simulation to open the right. window yeah mm -hmm. I'll get us some coffee <laughs> <laughs> So I should, you know, our, I should uh, give props to our art department for, the, for this uh, space bus, as we call it. Um, yeah, it's they worked really, really hard really to make it. Yeah, Kentucky Fried Chicken's, you know, uh, 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 I mean, KFC is what they're called. Uh, uh, they, 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 they basically paid for the construction of the bus, right? Yeah, which is pretty amazing. So yeah. it was like, I want to save fifty grand. I have no idea. Uh, those numbers mean nothing to to to, to a viewer anyway. But but. Uh, it was like the co and that, that's a really cheap giant commercial <laughs> yeah but at the same time they don't like their product being called kentucky fried chicken anymore so so but so they it was kind of cool of them to be game for this um but uh it, it was uh it was not something that anyone came to us about it was something that we said wouldn't it be funny if this 
space simulator was was sponsored by some product and yeah. we, we thought of a couple of things and we approached KFC but Derek Hill and his his gang like they they took me out out of the back of the Paramount lot and showed me the space bus one day and I, I just <laughs> I've been in love ever since. I've, I, I've never really given yeah. Derek a note. I don't. I don't remember walking into a set. And you know, I said this on the commentary last year too. It's just I've never had the experience working on a show of walking onto sets and having z not only zero notes about don't put that painting there, put it over here. Like I, but but also just being bowled over, just going, oh my god, I love this character. Look at Luca's apartment. Yeah. Uh, I love I love what this says about him. I'm getting ideas about what this character is. Mm -hmm. It's. It, the I think that like because we spent a lot of time in there, and like the cool thing about it was like I I somehow felt like when you're in there like how cool it was when it was new like you could really tell like all the knobs and stuff like that was like like if it was like 1991 or yeah. like 1989 <laughs> if I was a kid in there I would have been like this is the coolest thing ever <laughs> and now it's just like you know transients have been obviously killing things in it and <laughs> it just it felt very good like the the department this is the pretty really funny well. setup for one of the funniest jokes of the season <laughs> oh, <laughs> i mean the God. callback in this in this joke you know the the thing that comes later after this scene is is the actual funniest part and this this is just your standard good good old good old gay joke yeah <laughs> but <laughs> it's Jim Rash's performance in the second and the callback. That's... The callback is amazing. <laughs> and it's that's one of those things that, you know, it's like when I think about our show, it's on 8, 8 p.m. and that I have young nieces and nephews watching the show. <laughs> and I think about that callback. I just, uh... We just did. Guys, please, you're becoming animals. Oh, shut up. We would... I definitely remember how uh, 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 how well acted uh, uh, when, um, when Gillian yells at, at Chevy, in the cage it, it felt very real <laughs> she had a real she had a lot of fun yelling yeah <laughs> just did. Like, but there's a lot of takes where she's like <laughs> there was some yeah. things being worked we out just yeah. did. you're very observant yeah. you're in a cage you can't do anything <laughs> there's a couple points aren't there in this episode when we really like we started using that photo double right it's okay to say yeah. that oh, yeah, that's yeah. Right. in the backgrounds of some of these shots oh my God. there's a guy that looks so much like chevy who it's terrifying no, at one point during this episode there was like four chevy chases walking around set there was chevy yeah, the stunt guy his stunt, stunt guy his his stand-in stand in. and his body double yeah, yeah and, his, and it and was body, and his, so yeah. rough like i really it was because like you just they it was like it was so weird it was like drinking like when you're expecting sprite and it's water or something like that <laughs> And it was just like, it was so weird seeing them walk around. And then Chevy's wife showed up. Yeah. <laughs> it was like standing with the four of them. It was really surreal. Was and, she, surreal. and she left with the, th the yeah. other three. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> um, we, we missed the part where he was choking you, wasn't it? Was, it was, it was oh, there some... That. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing that, that on the monitor awesome. on the feed in my office yeah. and guy, and texting you guys. This is, the, this is the, the best show ever. But I think he was like really choking you. <laughs> he was, it was. It felt weird. I think my favorite part. I, I mean, like you guys, it couldn't be used, of course. But like, I stopped struggling and my eyes are just rolled back yeah. in my head. Like they, I just like yeah. was out. This was really fun to do. It felt like Voltron. <laughs> I love the anti-climax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> crew, you've worked together. Now, feast your eyes on the wonder... The voiceover guy was fantastic for this. It was. Yeah. It was very... It was a long search. We were, yeah. yeah. We heard a lot of people. We were That's really a pretty good example. It's a pretty good scientific example of the nature of our show, what makes it different from, from other shows that where you get spoofy conceptual elements. Uh, the, Ludwig Goranson and, and the live orchestra he recorded with, Anthony Russo's camera, the, the DP, all of those are, 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 are understanding how dramatic that moment is. Mm -hmm. But the real circumstances within the fourth wall of the narrative, the reality is it's just this little Atari graphic. And that's sort of how, how we, we think about the, the, the you know, we, as with paintball and stuff like that, it's like, okay, the, the, the reality is here, but we choose to view it dramatically or intensely. Yeah. Here's the call. Oh, <laughs> shit. Man, thumbs. That was great. Yeah, those aren't thumbs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Table read, I think maybe the longest laugh. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> those aren't thumbs. I mean, if, he, if you're going for the whole season, then definitely the clip show is where he got the applause oh, break. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. I forgot about that. Oh, that was really good. 
Um, that research that Anthony pointed out also points out that like it, the Jim Rash is one of the is, he's he's not high ranking on the on the in the favorite character list. I'm not going to go down it, but I point that one out just to just to uh, like as a giant <laughs> grain of salt the size of a boulder. Like that guy, you is can't tell me that so <laughs> that, that fucking Dean amazing. Pelton isn't one of the most important characters on the show. And people that, that, love that, that dude. But but I think that that's that's the that's the flaw of research is you sit people down at a table and you go what do you think of Principal Belding like do you like him do you like oh I don't like him oh he yelled at Zach uh, <laughs> that's the point <laughs> right right that's why you like Zach he kept not seeing it I mean it was driving me crazy it says e pluribus anus I told you we should have put cheeks on it <laughs> but there is a time and a place for subtlety and that time was before scary movie hey guys oh, oh and I'll point out that Troy uh, is upset. every t- uh, uh, Donald uh, replaced scary movie with a different cultural <laughs> like, reference cultural he must have oh, run really? through like 50 different takes I didn't even know that oh, I yeah, should have yeah. trolled it, just, it, was, it right. was before it's... white girls it was before like a whole bunch of like <laughs> of those films <laughs> I love this because the music is really feels like redemption. <laughs> <laughs> He's so petty. He's so petty. I have to say, KFC was really cool about this. I mean, they Amazing. they could have yeah. stopped yeah. at any point and said no. But the thing is, is like, I can't say I don't want chicken right now. <laughs> I can't say. Oh, and they brought and us. I, uh, they brought us sandwiches on set one day. Oh yeah. They brought us their. Uh, what is that sandwich called? That. Oh the yeah. This, uh, this was. Uh, yeah. This is the only horror element. But it's like with a character like Chang, you can just. <laughs> he's a. Like, it, I mean, yeah. it, but it also that kind of one thing they asked makes for. the. It also makes the, the truck feel a little like for some reason better just because it's just like <laughs> instead yeah. of us trying to get away with it, <laughs> uh-huh. which we kind of were. You know, like it was like it, it feels more like oh okay yeah it's a you know business right. I love the idea that all community college deans are these sort of omnisexual <laughs> Roman senators. <Yeah. laughs> this, this part here, especially. I remember. Just telling Jim. I remember we were talking but about the this. The best part is that <laughs> Jim's reaction there. I almost accidentally cut that out, and people told me, "No wait, you're gonna bring back the Abed squint." <laughs> I remember when we were talking about. Uh, a Sprack and, a, and Dan, when you t- said to me, you said, I don't know, maybe I, I imagine that at some point in the past um, they had been lovers. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really think, see, here's the thing, like, I always just think it's just like they're, they're we, like, the, the, the type of people who are attracted to that job just like to control and be controlled by different things. <laughs> like, that's why he has the dog thing and stuff like that. It's like, it's just like, that's why he's so into, like, different cultures and stuff like that, because he likes the fact that they're so different. If you're wondering why uh, the, the, the other dean is named Jonas Spreck, uh, I don't know if that's incongruous with his ethnicity but we were thinking john hodgman originally oh, really? <laughs> when i wrote the script yeah he was going to be sort of a german guy they do kind of look similar it's weird <laughs> they're kind of like opposites also like um giving due props on this episode like mentioning the art department before they were all they were nominated for a um art director's guild award for this episode and then also i want to mention that um dan ekman who's the director from Donald's yeah. uh, comedy troupe. Their comedy was very helpful on this episode. He, he oh, yeah. shot a lot of second unit, and yeah. he has a great passion for uh, he was super, space he, exploration and space movies. He was super helpful on this episode. When we heard that they were good, because like, Apollo 13 is his favorite movie of all time. Yeah. Like, he wanted to be an astronaut, and then he went to space camp. He was like, oh, I hate astronauts. I just wanted <laughs> to make film like that. <laughs> uh, but when, they, when he, I told him, I was like, oh, yeah, I think the writers are working on this kind of Apollo thing. He's like... There's got to be some way I can, like, be on set or watch or something like that. He, uh, yeah, he was really excited about this. Like, this was, like, his shining glory. Like, he was very excited. And Ludwig, too, the composer, like, you know, we, we work in the studio together, and he will, every once in a while, like, we'll sit down and listen to movie scores, hmm. and we'll listen to this one just because he loves it. So I love it, awesome. too. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It really makes you feel like something... Like happened. I mean, something happened, but like the stakes feel like it feels like like oh, my mother died, and but we got through it. Like, yeah. but the stakes are you know. 
Did we see the the that Donald does something really funny in this in this? Oh, moment. When he's talking it's to the reporter. Of, yeah, and it's just one of those funny. Yeah, 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 it's this. <laughs> I <just> love that. <laughs> and that, the other thing that's really subtle like that is is back when Abbott's pointing when it, when you're for, when the belly of the whale and Abbott's like gesturing for one guy to put put that equipment over there. Yeah. Like, like he just does it with this gesture. That's like. <laughs> I, 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 I'm doing it here in the commentary <laughs> the booth, but it's it's I love stuff like that. We there's a handshake that I think got cut out that we must have done like I guess like maybe like 20 times and we just could not stop laughing because it's like very 80s like yeah. handshake shake and then we stare at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then I couldn't. Good believe night, they, America. They let us do that. <laughs> no, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Uh, this tag was was uh, it was shot by the by the Russos the green screen footage, but we just handed all of the raw footage off to the uh, Duncan Brothers, the Channel 101 alumni. Um, I think this was the first thing they did for Community. They ended up doing the title sequence for the paintball episode, the the Western one. Uh, so I just handed this to them, and they did this over a weekend and uh, all the compositing and everything. That means I'm on your six. I like that. Good. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Here you go, folks. What a show.